Good morning, everyone. Here's the AM update for April 12th. Russian President Vladimir Putin said that his cause is noble and that they had no other choice but to invade Ukraine and that there is no doubt that his goals will be achieved. He blames Kiev authorities and the West for refusing to comply with the Minsk agreement uh, aimed at a peaceful solution to the problems of the Donbass. Simultaneously, Russian troops have started to pour into the eastern Ukraine. A large column of Russian military vehicles were seen facing the Donbass region in a video shared by social media. Ukraine's prosecutor general said to CNN that her office is building more than 5,800 cases accusing Russia of war crimes, with more coming every day. Japan has imposed additional sanctions and froze the assets of 384 Russian oligarchs. Um, Arkeller Mittal, I don't know if I'm saying that right, partially relaunched production of its steel operations in Ukraine, as many Ukrainians find it to be their civic duty to get back to work to get the economy running again. They've produced more than 1,000 tons of uh, iron in the last 24 hours, and they've established a new logistics uh, route to get raw materials out to the economy and help with the war effort. Um, a Russian military-linked hacking group has attempted to infiltrate the Ukrainian power substations and deploy malicious code capable of cutting power. The cyber attack appears to have been thwarted by the Ukrainian government computer emergency response team and the U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency. Britain's junior armed forces minister said that said on Tuesday that I think it's useful to maintain some ambiguity over exactly what the response to Russians' chemical weapons would be. But let's be clear, if they are used, Putin should know that all possible options are on the table in terms of how the West might respond. Uh, coming out of Mariupol, this seems like the last we might be in the last hours of Mariupol's defense. Um, right now, the 36 Marine Brigade is holding out, fighting, trying to to keep pockets so that potentially buy some time for the um, Ukrainians to provide a, a relief effort into that city through counterattacks, but unsure if that's going to happen. They did release some messages. They said, we are the defenders of Mariupol, the 36th Marine Brigade, which is holding the defense of our city to the last. We did not give up our positions. We kept every inch of this city the best we could. But the reality is that the city is under siege in a ring. There has been no supply of ammunition or food. We have been holding out to the end. We are grateful for every Ukrainian who believed and continues to believe in the Marines. We have held on to the faith for so long. We did not leave our positions. We, did, we have always remained faithful. Until Valhalla, brother.